Okay, this is a continuation. I'll try to continue here. Okay, I use my side face. I want to use my words. I'll be using this side. I want to use the Muslims that side. Okay. Really? Well, to complete that game, you say that out of almost two billion, there are many in the seventy-three sects. My question: Where do you find a breakdown of each sect followers? It takes as few as a thousand people to create a sect. So only the possibility of a thousand people will escape the fire. Why? Yeah. Why are you falsely assuming that the two billion are divided up into into the seventy three sects? Because Mo said in his that he said his Uma would eventually be divided into seventy three sects. I guess you don't believe that. By the way, that would be 27,393, 97.26 Muslims per sect. Yep, that is surely what we have today, right? No, I think you're right. It can be as few as 1,000. If it is that few that will escape the fire, do you think you'll be of that number? Two, God's will at inception, the blood clot, special the decree hadiths. Once again, an enemy of God takes one of tens of thousands of hadiths and amplifies the heck out of it, because it's Sahih, authentic, just to make a desperate point. You don't believe in the Sahih, authentic? You know, I didn't even bother checking the hadith. Afraid, uh, Afraid you'd think it was Sahih? Well, it is. Matter of fact, I have no problem with it because you know that most Muslims you look at will be in the fire while you are getting the mild white butts in Jenna. You know, I know I've read this before. Yeah, I did. Okay, now a Muslim, another Muslim jumps in and says, What is one plus one? I don't see what two has anything to do with what we're talking about. Is this diversion? Okay. Then that Muslim goes on a long time here. Okay, this is his... Okay, what the heck? I'll let him talk here. All right, I'll let him talk. All right, let him talk. Now, how come... Now, how you how you going to go around and dissect this conversation and twist it out of the context like this? Oh, that's right. You are a Trinitarian. You guys can twist anything out of context, including a whole freaking religion. One, yes, you are hung up on a few ahadith to try ahadith to try and and desperately make any point that seem to support your com your crumbling theology. Two, yes, a few of the 1,000 people can get into heaven, and as many as the entirety of mankind as well. It all depends on, on he who owns it. To, re to reiterate the point that did not, catch, did not quite catch, the 72 sects can be, can be contained as a few as 72 people spread out through the time. 72 out of 2 billion ain't that much bro. Three, again, I do not know where I will end up. It depends on God's mercy. I do try my best, though. Four, I am not sure how to proceed the, na the notion that you are using any part of the Hadith to support a failed point. As my fear of the Hadith being Sahih, Trinitarians, I just never get them. Five, my comments stand firm on the Hadith. If the, quote, decree, unquote, kicks in then it kicks in end of story see no need to overthink things six since you are so since you seem so since you are so seem to find logic to be enticing subject i urge you to preach to us about the very very sound logic behind your faith no seriously Please discuss with us who goes to heaven and hell, and how many sects. I know you don't have hadith of Jesus, or any real trace of Jesus for that matter, <laughs> but please go ahead. 7. 
There it is. Ever Trinitarian regurgitated claims. 10, third, 1094 being amongst them. The problem is that your people make a stupid claim, believe it, get refuted about it, and still continue to bring it up. Man, talk about stubbornness. For the general readers, I will say that the verse in reference is about the confirmation of Muhammad's prophethood, and based on that notion that he is foretold in the earlier scriptures. You may disagree with that as you please, but that is the context. You would know that if you actually read the Quran, but of course citing cheap anti-Islamic websites is faster. 8. Another genius claim from the Trinitarian, he used to be called Al-Ilah. I would generally ask to prove it, but being such a petty point, I am not sure what to respond to. First, I do not necessarily agree. Second, does the, that change the fact that your fellow Trinitarians in Mideast use the majestic name Allah in their Bibles? 9. Call him a punkster or whatever you want. It will be on you in the hereafter. 10. I couldn't help perform an ultimate face palm. At your last few lines, when you said, quote, I take it that you really don't believe in Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 285, and 40, 72, 72. See, if you even take time to read the comments I write, you will find that I explicitly told you three or so posts before this that a prerequisite to becoming Muslim is believing, quote, the Quran clearly states that the main conditions is to believe in God, his angels, preceding scriptures, messengers, and day of judgment, the destiny. This is Islam 101. Well, apparently he doesn't believe that since he's, yeah. But you had to go and pull the Trinitarian twisting technique and make me out to be an unbeliever in the preceding scripture. You don't realize that the same book, Quran, condemns and 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 sooner condemn how the people of the book have altered uh, the true belief of submission to the one God. You don't realize that as Muslims we know that these books in your hands uh, are corrupted, so-called holy texts. Yes, we believe in an angel and Torah that are from God, but the hands of God's enemies deformed it. Hmm, they're more stronger than all, apparently. Deformed it so much resulting in the appalling state they, they're, they're, they are in today. So, no. I guess he doesn't know about the Dead Sea Scrolls. So, no, the current angel and Torah are not the ones God has brought down. You know, it would help if you actually do an elementary research on Islam and Quran instead of googling fellow Trinitarian websites. It would save you the embarrassment. Did you know that Islam has a trinity since a goat not only ate away a part of the Quran, part about uh, stunning adulterers and uh, uh, breastfeeding adults, adult males to uh, get down sexual tension. Uh, but yeah, did you know that not only did the goat eat away part of the Quran, but killed Muhammad with poison when a Jewish woman served him goat to Muhammad? The trinity of Islam should be Allah, Mo, and the Holy Goat because that goat did the impossible. There we go. I guess you feel better now that you made such an intellectual crack on Islam. You should share it with your Trinitarian friends. They will be proud of you. From my end, this is where I refuse to stop the level. There are people out there who might enjoy an insult fight with you. Not me though. I am Ati. And he gives some Arabic. You don't believe the Hadith about Aisha talking about how a goat ate away a part of the Quran concerning breastfeeding and stunning adulterers? I think I'll begin part three next.